watching today now the gradual introduction of artificial intelligence into our professional and personal lives continues to cause great confusion while some believe AI can improve our lives and the way we conduct business some continue to fear it over the potential threats that it may have so should you have some faith in AI well Ghost Draft CEO Wayne Toms joins us this hour to share his expertise with us uh, thank you very much uh, for your time this afternoon I mean it was a big topic in the World Economic Forum in Davos as well this year when where elections are coming up and people were fearing that misinformation generated by AI may have an impact on election outcomes and democracies around the world but that's just one concern what would you say are some of the other legitimate concerns surrounding the trustworthiness of AI yeah, uh, Rafiwa, I think there's been a lot of attention in the media, as you point out, and dare I say it, even noise when it comes to AI. And this has been heightened by the emergence over the last couple of years of ChatGPT and other generative AI solutions. Generative AI is different from some of the AI we've had over the last few years. It's a new type of AI which can generate its own content, whether it be text, images, even video, in response to the input that's been fed. And it does that by learning from how similar content was produced in the data that it was trained of. So this has led to a number of arguably legitimate concerns. Uh, right off the bat, AI has the habit of making poor recommendations from time to time. And many customers would prefer to talk to a human where they're more likely to be able to discuss their specific circumstances and get a, a more valid response. Uh, in more extreme cases, these poor recommendations can actually lead to the introduction of prejudice where AI makes uh, discriminatory recommendations. There's a, there's a famous example where Amazon